Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is my top, I think I have 10, let me count. Yeah, 10. Autumn lipsticks. I'm not gonna do it in any order, like my favorite to my least favorite. Um, I'm just gonna randomly do them. I also have an announcement to make at the end of this video, so stick around for that if you wanna know what all that's about, or you can just skip to the end of the video, whatever you want. These are bright lipsticks. There are a couple which aren't, I've tried to give it a good mix, um, but some of these are quite out there. Like I said, there's 10, so I'm just gonna get straight into the video. <laughs> First brand I'm gonna talk about is Rimmel and Rimmel lipsticks are incredible. Not only are they really affordable, they are incredible and um, I love them. And this is the Moisture Renew Lipstick in 380 Dark Night Wartle. Oops, see what you did there. This is extremely purple. With autumnal lipsticks and berry lipsticks, you can either go on the red, dark, cherry side or the purple tones. Um, this is a definite purple, um, you do have to be brave to wear this one, I love it. Um, if anyone wants me to do swatches on my blog then please just let me know because I will happily do that. But like I said, Rimmel lipsticks are really affordable, this is definitely for the bolder person. I think it's really nice if you just do a tiny little bit, um, it's really buildable, I really like it. It is quite out there so I would probably save it for an evening, I wouldn't really use it in the day unless you had a full face of makeup like completely out there um but i really really like it i like the packaging as well it's also really nice around christmas as well because it's more purple it hasn't completely got the autumnal feel of dark cherry colors the other in one i'm going to talk about is the one i'm wearing right now and i love this i think i mentioned this in a video i did a similar video it was like my it might have been top five autumn winter lipsticks last year so i'll link that below in case you want to know if there's any other ones um i mentioned two that are the same i think because i'm still obsessed with them um, but this is one of them and this is the lasting finish lipstick in, in 077 asia i'm wearing it now and you can see how much i love it because it's literally like a little stump um i love this like honestly love this i think this is brilliant i would wear it every single day of the year anyway but i think this is brilliant for people who want to kind of adventure into the slightly darker sides i mean you can see what it's like on my lips now i think this is perfect for the person who thinks i really want to adventure into the darker and slightly perhaps bolder lipsticks but i'm too scared um which i completely understand um this would be a perfect one like i said before about rimmel they're extremely affordable these are like five pound i think um and as soon as this runs out like i will buy another one i love it i've had it for, for ages i've had it for over a year because it has like a deep pinky brown tone to it i really really like it and it is a very light color but it is still perfect for autumn if you like your brownie nudes then this would be perfect um i love it and like i said i'm wearing it now so you can see exactly what it looks like sticking on to the theme of much lighter lipsticks but still darker than the average day to day possibly if you're not really out there or bold with lipstick this brand i'm going to talk about is mac uh, this one is a lush to finish and it is syrup for me i would wear this on a daily basis but i do think it's a very good color if you are terrified of bold lips because it's slightly bolder than the average day to day color someone like that would typically wear um i've just took that on my thumb <laughs> it's still a deeper shade which i really like anyway it's very similar to the Rimmel one, um, but this has just got more purple in it rather than brown. There's not really a brown in there at all. Um, and I really like the finish of it. It's really creamy and I hate when like lips sticky or... That is Syrup by MAC. That's a really good one. Sticking with MAC, I have Rebel. Now, I when I got this, I was so like oh do I want to go for it like oh it's really out there but then I applied it and I was like oh it's not that bad like you can do like a tiny little bit of this and it won't look anything like it looks here um but obviously then you can build it up and go full out with it um I don't think this is actually that scary looking at it it's like but when you have it on especially for me because i do get a little bit worried with certain lipsticks because my lips are quite big um and if i have too much like a red lip if i have a really deep red lip on it's just like whoa hello like it's really really a bit too much um so when i got this i was a little bit skeptical and i was like oh i don't know whether to get it or not and it's kind of like a statement lipstick anyway but rebel by mac i think majority of people will have heard of rebel by mac i really like this i think it's a perfect one it is purple extremely purple it's not as intense as the first lipstick the rimmer one the dark night water loops 
it's not as heavy or as bold as that this is a lot lighter um but it still is quite bold so um it's a really nice finish as well it's a satin finish i don't know if i mentioned that before next is another one of my all-time favorites and it is um, by revlon and it is a 477 black cherry now this is this is intense and i've just got it all over I love it though. This is definitely on the cherry side of the spectrum. Um, like I said earlier, this black cherry sums it up. The juice of a black cherry um, is this. It is spot on, it is perfect, and this is definitely not for the faint hearted. Um, I love it and again Revlon lipsticks are really good and really, really affordable. And I really like the package as well. Like I like that you can see it. it's like a little a little window. Hey! Next is Kiko. Now this is a brand that I don't want to say it's underrated but like I don't think that many people know about it that should know like everyone who is into makeup should know about Kiko um it is incredible I love the brand I love the pricing and I love the lipsticks and lip liners I've mentioned the lip liners before I think I've mentioned lipsticks before these are two of my all-time favorites so to start off um this one is 914 none of them have names that I'm aware of they just have numbers on the bottom so this is 914 and this is just incredible. This is a very, very purple colour. Very different to the other purples I've shown you. It has more of like a bluey undertone to it. It's just purple. There's no sort of darker colour to it. The lipsticks are so well pigmented. It has a really nice finish to it. Lasts a really long time. They're so cheap and they're always on offer. And I love this. It's absolutely incredible. This one is 909. And this is more on the red cherry side it, i'm obsessed with this um and i do find like i said earlier about reds i don't really know if they suit me this suits me like this suits me and i'm extremely pale if you haven't noticed already <laughs> yeah i really really like this and i would recommend this one to anyone because it's just one of those colors that i find can suit any skin tone that is kiko next is elizabeth arden and i got this in a set and um, with loads of other lipsticks and this is the beautiful color moisturizing lipstick in ultra violet number 40 this again is a purple. It's a very different purple. It's kind of semi-matte. Um, it doesn't really have a lot of sheen to it or a lot of shimmer to it. Um, it is kind of a semi-matte one. Um, but I really, really like it. And it is a definite purple, like 100% a purple. Um, but it's just not as dark or really as bold as others. It is quite a light purple. It's not as bold or as dark as the other purples I've shown you. This is the lightest one out of all of them. Um, but I do really like this and I find, like I said with the red, I can get away with it, um, which I was actually quite shocked at. And the packaging's lovely. It's gold with like a silver band, says Elizabeth Arden. So um, that is a winner winner from me. Second to last is this one. And this is like, oh, wow. This is a Rituals lipstick in Marrakesh. Now I'm sure you can picture what it's gonna look like by the name. This is it and it is an extremely deep and dark colour. This is kind of basically just like a darker version of what I have on at the minute. It still has a purpley tint to it um, but it is quite a browny colour. It's very very bold but I, I really think that this would look amazing. This is kind of like the Kylie Jenner, I don't want to say it but it's kind of like the Kylie Jenner lip. Um, I love it. Again it is kind of like a semi matte colour. Um, it's not extremely shiny or shimmery or have a lot of sheen to it. Um, I really like it. The last one but certainly not least is Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. Now now time for the announcement and this is kind of like an announcement of an announcement or for an announcement yeah an announcement for an announcement um i am going to be uploading a announcement video on wednesday this wednesday at 6 p.m gmt um i'm really excited about it so if you want to find out what that announcement is then make sure you're back here wednesday at 6 p.m i'm really excited uh, if you follow me on instagram you probably have a bit of a hint about what it is um but uh yeah i'm really excited and i cannot wait to share it with you guys is that wednesday 6 p.m gmt here so that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did all of my social media links are in the description box below as always as well as more info about all the lipsticks please let me know if you want me to do a blog post that's absolutely fine um, my blog is linked in the top line of the description what else did i 
I also have a new blog post which is my MAC lipstick collection and swatches so if you want to give that a read then that is below if you're into blogs. Um, subscribe if you would like to and I will see you on Wednesday for my announcement video um, and there's also a video on Sunday but the announcement video is an extra one. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited. What am I doing with my life? Yeah! I'm so excited And I just can't hide it I'm about to lose control And I think I like it